today I can honestly say, while it has been an absolutely hideous time for everyone in my life, and I say everyone, my family, everybody, you have no idea how relieved I am that this is over. Until now, because of severe legal constraints and the agreement I signed, I've been unable to say anything to anybody, let alone defend myself. From today, that will stop. Despite what some in the media have reported over the past nine months, I never shied away from what happened on that night over three years ago. I paid Kristen's medical costs. I was so concerned about what had happened, and it was so out of character, I undertook counselling to help me understand how I could be driven to such a place. That is not me, and it will never be me again. I wish I had handled things differently that night. I told my family, I told my wife, I told my close friends exactly what had happened on January 29, 2006. They stood there by me then, and they stand by me now, and for that I am eternally grateful. When it was necessary, I also told my employers at TVNZ, and I reiterate, I told them the full and utter truth. I also believe that if I didn't pay the $150,000, our wedding day would have been at serious risk. What still confounds me, and even today it still confounds me, is my misguided belief that Kristen and I actually parted on good terms. While we realised our relationship could not work anymore, we remained in contact for at least 13 months after the incident. Good contact. Today is the result of some long, hard thinking on my part and my family's part and my wife's part. We had two choices. Our day in court, which I can honestly say I desperately wanted, but I knew would be at least two years away, two years to wait for a day in court. Or we could end this now, save everyone more pain, allow my wife and our families to get back to a normal life. This has not been normal over the past nine months for anybody. Everybody has suffered. I now look forward to working with the charities who I love, and that is the best thing about the centres. I can get back to working with the charities and doing my community service with charities that I am passionate about. I am grateful since has prevailed and the other charges have been dropped. As I said months ago when I walked out of here, I was stunned that those charges had even been laid. There is one final point I would like to make. Much has been written and said over the past nine months which defies belief. As a journalist, I'm at a loss to understand how certain media organisations could run with stories on the basis of a source and without fact. From today we will begin legal action against them in the hope that they realise it's one thing to condemn a person via the media, it is another to slander them. Thank you to all of those people that have helped me get through this. Thank you to my family, who I know are all here, have been simply incredible. To the people out there, you would not believe the letters, the correspondence. We got one box which had little quotes in it that every day Zoe and I read. The people out there in New Zealand, you guys have just been incredible. But most of all, thank you to my wife Zoe, I'm not sure where she is. She has been the most rational, the most logical, the most intelligent, the most gorgeous, the most beautiful woman in the world. I quite simply say, I chose a goodie and I could not have survived this without her. So to Zoe, I say thank you to all of you. I say thank you and I'm glad it's over. What do you say to Kristen? Tony.